Hi guys, this is Rocky and welcome to the ExtremeWebDesigns.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Google AdSense account. So to do this, simply visit this website, google.com slash AdSense. And once you get onto that website, here's what you're going to see. And if you have already created, you can sign in. Uh, but because we're going to create a new account, just simply click on the sign up now button. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to get to the, see the screen wherein it's going to ask you to whether if you want to proceed with a Google account sign in or if you want to create a new Google account. Okay. So if you already have a Google account, go ahead and click this button on the left. If not, then go ahead and create a new Google account. Uh, there's no other way around it as far as my knowledge is concerned. You will need to create a Google account if you do not have it already. So, uh, but here are the main terms. Uh, you need to comply with all the uh, do's and don'ts of Google AdSense if you wanna keep your account uh, in good standing and if you want to get verified, okay? The first is to that you need to be 18 years old uh, or more, okay? And then you should have a, a website which, you know, is uh, goes well with their terms and conditions so make sure that you're going to read their program policies and this uh, postal address they're going to ask you for uh, this so make sure you have uh, the right address uh, ready so that if they want to send you a check they'll be sending it to the right address uh, so just make sure you have the correct address with you all right so go ahead and click on whatever button you like and you're going to get to this screen so uh, you can either sign up or uh, for a new account or sign in with your existing if you have already created so once that is done you're gonna come on to the next screen and in this step this is the second step as if you have noticed uh, we were in step one in the earlier step and once we have created our account or uh, logged into the account we have uh, come up to the second step okay now here's what you need to fill up um, I will show ads on here is uh, your domain name okay if you, you need to have a domain name as per the uh, the rule specified here a website or, co or content compliant so you basically need a website alright so just go ahead and fill up that information here select your content language which in my case would be English all right and here are additional program policies that you need to comply at all times just I cannot overemphasize the importance of these policies but make sure that you read them understand them digest them and remember them at all times do not and I warn you do not ever violate any of the Google AdSense program policies or your account will be simply banned and the worst thing could happen is you could be banned forever and I do not want any of you guys to go through that kind of an ordeal okay so just make sure that you follow Google AdSense uh, policies right from the get-go just to make sure that uh, you do not get into an uncomfortable situation with them Google is known to ban without any kindness or softness in their heart for uh, anybody who's trying to violate their terms so just make sure that you abide by their policies okay and once you go ahead uh, and read all this but let me let me read out that to you just to you know make you understand how important it is um, I will not click on my ads nor encourage others to do so so this is a, this is a no no okay do not click on your own ads or do not ask your friends or relatives or anybody else as to the matter uh, to click on your ads it's a no the advertiser is paying us uh, for uh, sending genuine traffic to their uh, website so just make sure that you respect them and you will be respected in the form of payouts once you reach that stage so guys I tell you stick with these guidelines and you will uh, see a good progress all right and here's rule number two I will not place ads on sites that include adult content into pornography okay so no mature content okay and I'll not place ads on sites involved in the distribution of copyrighted materials so make sure that all the content that you have on your website 
uh, is original one and that only you and only you uh, have the copyrights of this. Uh, that's better. It's a lot better and it's recommended because Google, again, you know, those guys are really strict about it. They don't entertain you violating anybody else's copyrights. And if they find out that you're violating anybody else's copyrights, you unfortunately will get your account banned. So don't let this happen to you guys. All right. Fourth rule is I do not already have a Google AdSense account. So if you do, then do not create a new one, but just simply click here on this link and follow the instructions on it. Okay. The fifth rule is I will not place ads on sites that include incentives to click on ads. Once again, this uh, last point is almost similar to what they're trying to say in the first point. Uh, basically, you can't uh, put signs or arrow marks or pointers asking people to click on ads, okay? Uh, you cannot put sponsored ads or, you know, whatever, you know, you know, in the form of pointers or offer any incentives or bonus to anybody to click on that. So, again, do not try uh, or even think of trying to get somebody to click on ads or do it yourself in any of the ways. Just keep away from all that and you will make a good progress. I can assure you of that. All right. As long as you comply with the terms, you should be good to go. All right. So go ahead and fill out the information. Uh, read through the program policies. Check the checkbox and click on continue. Okay. It's uh, let me go ahead and retry that. Okay. Here it is. Um, that problem resolved. And here I'm in my next step. Uh, here it's going to ask you for your contact information and select your country here and all right let me go ahead and do that real quick all right so once you do that uh, just make sure that you select the most appropriate account type uh, this is really really important and as google says uh, the account type you choose here can affect your tax requirements. So if you're an individual and you're doing this uh, for your personal website, uh, so select the individual option. But if you have a business website, let's say you have a you are a car dealer and you have cars for sale or uh, you know whatever, then you want uh, uh, ads to be shown on your uh, official website or business website. Then go ahead and select business. But whatever country you're in, just make sure that you consult your local attorneys and get a word uh, from them uh, because you will be liable to pay taxes to your government. Okay, and if you're a resident of US, you will be asked for your tax information. Uh, probably your SSN will be asked for uh, along with your tax ID and stuff like that. All right, so, so select the most appropriate account type that suits your uh, that suits your purpose and that's appropriate that's more appropriate for you okay and here it must uh, enter your pay name and that must match the full name on your bank account so just make sure that it's exactly the same okay uh, don't alter anything or don't change anything don't change your name or don't change any initials or don't change anything on it just make sure that you provide the same exact bank name uh, or the name as you have in your bank account all right go ahead and submit the rest of the information which is your street address city town state phone number just make sure that you provide a correct genuine and a phone number that you can be reached at i suggest that you provide your mobile number or cell phone number okay uh, so that somebody's there to answer the call if google thinks that they need to verify your account before uh, allowing you to sign up okay and just make sure that whatever address you give here is correct double check it triple check it if you need to because uh, if you receive any checks in the future you want to make sure that you're going to receive it if you make any mistake here you will lose your check and then you're gonna get in a lot of trouble you're gonna have to request Google for another check which again is a whole lot of mess and uh, don't I don't want you to get into that kind of stuff so just be extra careful in here all right and then go ahead and fill out the rest of the information 
uh, fill out other things and select what your email preferences are and click on submit my application button here. So once you do that, uh, allow some time for Google guys to uh, review your application. They might call you or they might try to verify uh, if you are a real person or, or a bot, uh, you know, and that kind of stuff. And uh, they'll get back to you uh, with, your, uh, with their decision on your application. And as long as you're complying with their terms and they see you as a good potential um, a publisher for their ads and that they feel that you can do more good to them, um, then they'll, uh, then they will have a grant your application. Okay. So just make sure that you have a very good website and, uh, and just make sure that you do not have any content that violates their terms and you should be good to go. So that's it for the video guys. Uh, this is how you create, um, uh, your Google AdSense account in five steps or less. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did feel free to like the video, comment and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.